Research study helps us understand the world better, find solutions to problems, and improve our lives. So, just like a strong house needs careful planning and study, many things in life need research to make it better and safer for everyone. Let us understand this with one real story. The story of Jon Snow. No, not this one. Story which gave birth to modern epidemiology and resulted in sanitary awakening long before it was known that microorganisms are responsible for many of the diseases. During the mid-60s, London was hit by cholera outbreaks along with most of Europe. London had a serious problem with filth due to the large influx of people and a lack of proper sanitary services. Since the cesspools were overrunning, the London government decided to dump the waste into the River Thames. You can see the stack of garbage and the unsanitary condition of the London streets. Many measures were tried without proper knowledge of how diseases spread at that time. The germ theory of disease has not been identified yet. Many theories were proposed regarding the cause of cholera. Famous among those is the miasmatic theory which says that the mist or smelly air is responsible for the cholera which arose from decomposing matter or other dirty organic sources. As it is highlighted in this banner, do not sleep or sit in a drought of air. This cartoon depicts how so-called experts of the Royal Society of London were baffled regarding providing permanent solutions to control deadly diseases. Amidst such chaos and confusion, one gentleman working as an anaesthetist to the royal family had a different opinion regarding the cause of the cholera outbreak. He approached the problem from a different angle and drew a map with markings of cases that occurred in the area, Soho. His name was John Snow and what he prepared now known as a spot map helped him identify the clustering of cases around the Soho pump, which was later found to be supplied the contaminated water. It looks like the death herself serving and preying upon the poor without their knowledge. Later, Jon Snow removed the pump handle so that that pump no longer remained in use to get drinking water and the outbreak of cholera subsided. Removing the pump handle is a phrase still we use to indicate solutions for the problems.